Hello, YouTube friends. I wanted to show you the best bargain that I have found recently. And you know I like a bargain, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, <laughs> I don't like, you know, straight up dupes, as you know. And, um, or replicas, whatever you want to call it. But I have been eyeing the cute um, Marc Jacobs, the tote bag mini that everyone and their mother has and the only thing holding me back from that um purchase is that i don't like how it says the tote bag all across the front of it i just think that's too in your face for me i like something a little bit more sedate so i um i was thinking well they've got to have tote bags that are made similarly but that aren't by mark jacobs and don't have that all the way across them so of course I went on to my favorite place for bargains, AliExpress. <laughs> and, um, you know, you are getting kind of junky stuff made in China <laughs> when you go there. So you have to keep your expectations really low, but I am usually very pleasantly surprised and I have had no problems buying from them. Um, the items come pretty quick. I got these within about two weeks and, um, they're just exactly what I wanted. Now, yes, they are cheap. I'm not saying quality wise, these are anywhere near Marc Jacobs because as you'll see, they have little threads hanging out and stuff, but they are really cute. <laughs> and, um, I don't consider these dupes. I think they're definitely inspired obviously because of the shape, but the measurements are different. These are made in corduroy, which is really cute. And they have a totally different design. They've got a nice big pocket in the front and a snap. So I'll kind of give you a little tour of the bag and show you what fits, but these are so cute. So for reference, the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in mini size is, um, and this is from their website, it's eight inches tall, 10 inches wide, and five inches deep. These are a little bit bigger, but not as deep. So these are um, nine and a half inches tall, or 9.1, excuse me, 9.1 inches high instead of eight. And these are 10.2 wide, so 0.2, a little bit wider. And then these are narrower for the depth. Um, they have 3.9 instead of five. So they're shaped a little bit differently, but you get the general gist of it. They're obviously made to be a little competitor to the Marc Jacobs tote bag, but they don't say Marc Jacobs anywhere on them. In fact, the... <laughs> <laughs> they have one of these patches that makes no sense. It's Lotu special quality design. The crimey. I don't know what that is. Registered trademark. So <laughs> just a bunch of nonsense on the little patch, but it does give a little decorative touch to them. So I'll show you around the bags a little bit. What you will get when they come, I ordered two, obviously. This is rust, and then this one was, I think, listed as white, but it's really a kind of tan, kind of a wheat color, just an off-white. Um, so the way they're packaged, they come in a big plastic envelope, and they're just smushed down and um, really flat, and you pull them out of the plastic, and they look crummy, and they smell a little bit, <laughs> so you want to kind of stuff them. I hung mine in a little tree outside to air out. But they're fine now and it only took like a day um the straps are really cheap they on the white one they are um the red one or the rust colored one is a lot thicker um so don't expect consistency this one's very flimsy and thin and what and it's also a lighter shade obviously than the bag um that doesn't really bother me because you know the mark jacobs one has a black webbing strap so it's not a match either but i do wish these were removable they are not they are sewn on you've got an adjustable little buckle here and then the side is just sewn on but what i was considering doing because i have some really cute striped webbing straps that i was thinking i could use on this i was considering just cutting them off of this one and then stitching it down and then using those little um d-rings that or two piece that you just kind of puncture in. I was thinking about doing that so I could use different straps, but you know, it is what it is. You could always tuck it in too, 
if you just wanted to carry it like this. They don't have any feet or anything. And the back is just plain. But they are corduroy. It's really cute. I like the corduroy. And I like this part. They've got a snap closure. But they've got a pocket in the front. A nice big pocket. Which is really cute. It's lined in canvas. So they're not awful. And when I tell you the price of these, you're going to die. It's crazy. So I'll show you what fits in this rust colored one. Now on the website, oh, and let me tell you the store name for these because they have obviously dupes up too, but these are not. Um, Dovely, D-O-V-E-L-Y, Alley Store for AliExpress. So that's who I bought it from. And this was listed as rust and it looked a little bit more kind of saddle color in the pictures, but it's a really pretty, almost like a watermelon tone to it. It's really, really pretty. I will use this one a lot. So in the front here, this big pocket is big enough for my phone. And then you unsnap it and see how much room you have. And they're lined in canvas, which is really nice. I mean, for the price that these were, I was not expecting anything. They don't have the same rolled edges as the Marc Jacobs one. Nothing fancy, but hey, <laughs> for the price, it's definitely worth it. So I have my little makeup kit from Coach, my little boxy, mini boxy cosmetic case. And this was their Sephora partnership. And then for a wallet, I just have my large frame purse from Dooney and Burke in suede. That's kind of a, I can't remember what color this one was. But it's a really pretty kind of neutral tan suede. And then I have my corner zip bracelet from Coach in the uh, wildflower print. And then I have, let's see, oh, cute little simplicity tape measure these are so cute they're kind of squishy and soft and uh i love the little print on them but it's good to have a little tape measure around so that is in there my little vitamin case and my glasses so you can see a lot fits in these little totes and the handles are also corduroy so that's it and these weigh practically nothing Okay, so got all those things in there. Fits perfectly. You could probably put a Kindle in here, obviously, in the case, and it would fit. So even though these are mini, they're a nice size. And the handle or the strap is an adjustable crossbody. There are no pockets inside, but you have that pocket in the front here. Okay, so that's what you can look forward to getting in there. All right, are you guys ready for the price difference? Okay. <laughs> So for the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag mini, the plain canvas one, the, the first one that came out, those go for $150, which is not awful, you know, um, but for a tiny, tiny little canvas bag, I did not want to pay anywhere near that because who knows if it'll get messed up. Um, they attract dirt, things like that. So <laughs> these bags were $4.45 each and two dollars and 65 cents shipping is that crazy so for about seven dollars you get a cute little tote bag to carry around and when you're buying them that cheap you can throw them around and you don't have to worry about them getting dirty or anything i mean i think i could probably throw them in the wash if they got dirty because they're just corduroy and canvas but can you believe that price <laughs> four dollars and 45 cents so that's why I bought two. And they have other colors available too. They had black, they had teal, they had a kind of goldenrod yellow, which was cute. Um, and then this ivory color and the rust. So the reviews on them on the site were great. Most people just absolutely loved them. So like I said, don't expect perfection. There are little threads kind of sticking out that you have to cut off. <laughs> but other than that, and the strap issue on this one. I mean, if I cut it off and use the clips for another strap, that's fine too. But if you're just looking for something cheap and cute and you don't need a name brand and you don't want to buy a dupe where they have 
the fake, the tote bag printed across the front. These are really great. I don't think Marc Jacobs ever came in corduroy. And like I said, the layout is a little bit different on these. So anyhow, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.